2023 film Haunted Mansion is said to be a remake of the 2003 Eddie Murphy classic that has the same name. I honestly didn't even know there was an original Haunted Mansion movie, but that movie was a success. But this one seems to be bombing at the box office as are most of Disney's recent projects. It's like Disney can't catch a break and it's very hard to feel sorry for them given their recent shenanigans. But why exactly did this movie fail? <laughs> so far, it seems as though all the moves that they've taken suggest that they almost wanted it to fail. You released a Haunted Mansion movie two to three months ahead of Halloween, which would have been the opportune time to release it. Also, there were two very big movies that were going head to head, Barbie and Oppenheimer. Nobody is going to want to see Haunted Mansion, especially when they have the option to see those big blockbusters. Also, even though the movie did have some of what it felt like old Disney's charm, and I gotta admit, Darius, as I call him, Keith is what carried this movie. It feels as though he was leagues above it. Like he was too good for this movie. It was charming, but it didn't exactly hit all the notes that it intended to hit. Otherwise, it's not something that I would be glad I paid for going to theaters. It's something that I would probably watch on streaming if there's nothing else going on. And I only decided to watch this movie, by the way, because Darius was in it. Yes, to me, he's Darius. There also wasn't a lot of marketing for this movie. I don't know what's going on with Disney and where their money is going, but with all of these blockbusters and these movies that are coming out with that are $300,000 and up for the budget, it's no wonder they're hemorrhaging money. I mean, they're barely making anything back. Plus, all the marketing for all the other films that they're competing with is way more prevalent than The Haunted Mansion. I didn't even remember that this movie was a thing until I saw in passing a suggested video and someone talking about it. And I was like, oh my God, I can't watch that because I did see that one trailer that one time about this movie. What was it about again? A Haunted Mansion. Who was in it? <gasps> Darius! I'll watch it because Darius was in it. If Darius wasn't in it, I would not have watched it. I'm being so honest. That guy is a fantastic actor. To tell you the truth, I will watch anything that he appears in. Even next to the likes of Jamie Lee Curtis and Owen Wilson and those other people, people. <laughs> I would say that he's the best actor out of all of them, out of everyone that appeared in this movie. And that's saying something. I like Danny DeVito too. It's just, there was just no comparison. And that's very funny considering that I think he's one of the younger actors. Those other people have been around for a long time and I've only recently seen him on the scene. If he's been in anything else alongside them, I apologize. I had no knowledge of that. But he just blew them out of the water. Also, the plot of this movie started out great, but it seems as though it didn't even know what it wanted to be around the half mark. It had some cute, poignant moments, and it did give some laughs throughout the movie, but other than Darius' performance, Lakeith, AKA, the movie's kind of forgettable. The only thing I walked away with as a long lasting memory from this movie, Darius' performance. Not only is he handsome, but he's also a really good actor and his emotional cues and his expressions and his delivery, his entirety of his performance is honestly what stood out to me more than anything else in this movie. It's a good thing for him, but it's not really saying much for the movie. I also thought it was very corny and I guess that that's what they were going for because it's a family movie. But at the same time, it just left a lot to be desired. It appeared that they were aiming for a more intimidating or scary aesthetic through the marketing. That was what I saw, the little bit that I did see. But the final product felt more whimsical and silly. And that's not entirely bad because I guess they were going for more of the whole vintage Disney films. But there was kind of a mismatch with the marketing of this movie and what we got in the final product. Darius's presence was a saving grace. While I found some enjoyment in this movie, it's not a film that I'd be like, oh, I want to go back and watch this. Rather than saying, I'm happy I watched it, what would be more apt is saying that I'm okay with having seen it. Not something I would like to just take my own money and pay for. But yeah, I've seen it. There you go. Now on to the next. And that will now go back into the recesses of my mind, never to be thought of again. I also find myself wondering when the movie would come to a close. This movie stretched on for a while and I started to feel the length of it and I don't know why movies feel like they need to be so long nowadays. Sometimes less is more. There was a lot of downtime and there was a lot of homage to different movies with assembling the A-team and I get what they were going for with the comedy but sometimes it was a hit and sometimes it was a miss and sometimes there was way too much of it and more often than not for me it was a miss. Like I said, it was a family kidsy movie so I guess that's what they were going for. But I will give them that the actors looked as though they were having fun and this movie wasn't very preachy at all. Maybe one line in the movie was, but overall the movie just felt like entertainment or like a regular 
I know it's hard to say this because it seems like such a rarity nowadays, but a movie. And that's why I'm not gonna completely bash it because it is indeed a rarity to get movies like that. I've been binging anime and I probably watched like five anime over the course of a few days because that's the only place I can legit get entertainment, like legit entertainment without all that nonsense. Every time I watch a show from Jis Disney, Disney. <laughs> oh my god, ew. Wow. Dirty mind. Anytime I watch a show from Disney or somewhere else, there's always this expectation now to be disappointed or for these shows to mess up at some point later. However, I don't get that with anime or manga. Make fun of me all you want, but that's one way I can appreciate that anime and manga have stayed consistent throughout the years despite all the changing insanities with Western societal norms. I also think this movie didn't do well because people are just tired of Disney. They hear that Disney came out with it and it's almost the same reaction that people used to get when they saw a movie was made by Asylum. They're like, oh, the cover's really nice. Look at that. And then you see it's made by Asylum and you're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> now I think people would more gladly watch something by Asylum than they would if it was made by Disney. Disney is the new Asylum. And I think that's so fitting considering that the people running it are now a bunch of insane people. I can completely understand why people would have walked away not even caring about this movie and why people wouldn't be interested in seeing it at all. It's kind of sad when you think about it because despite how mediocre this movie was, it's far better than half the crap that Disney has been putting out in their shows and films as of recent years, and that's saying something. On one hand, I want this movie to kind of do well, but on the other hand, I can understand why it wouldn't, because it didn't earn it. This is like the bare minimum of what they should be doing. And I'm glad that people are waking up and deciding to not settle for the bare minimum, especially with inflation and freaking inflation. We are bleeding money over here, and you were giving us the bare minimum? Really? Oh no. So, would I spend my money on this movie? No, but if you want to go over to a friend's house and if you have kids and I guess you want to bring them over and give them some, I don't even see kids sitting down and watching this to be honest. It's one of those things where kids will be playing with like Legos or a video game and <laughs> they'll look up once in a while and see that something's going on in this movie and they're like, nah, whatever. I feel like whatever video game they're playing would have a way better storyline than this movie. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ulteriority, you ask, we answer. Okay, I'm gonna go back and watch anime now. Oh,